Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will begin with an in-depth examination of a critical topic, admixtures in concrete. These inconspicuous additions, like the unsung heroes of construction, perform a critical function in the field. Join me as I investigate the enormous influence and complicated workings of these essential aspects of the building industry. Admixtures in concrete are a group of specialized materials or chemicals that are added to the concrete mixture during its mixing or manufacturing process. These additives are used to modify or improve the properties of concrete to meet specific construction requirements. Admixtures are an essential part of modern concrete technology and are widely used in the construction industry. Imagine that making concrete is like baking a cake. Admixtures are like special ingredients you can add to the cake batter to make it better or suit different occasion. Admixtures are like magical liquids that make your concrete mix smoother and easier to handle. They help it flow better and stick to the right places when you are building something, like a foundation or a sidewalk. Just like you can speed up or slow down the time it takes for your cake to bake, admixtures can do the same for concrete. They can give you more time to work with it when it's hot outside or make it set quickly when you are in a hurry. Some admixtures act like superpower pills for your concrete. They make it stronger without adding too much water, which can weaken it. So, you can have both strong and workable concrete. Imagine admixtures as a shield for your concrete. They protect it from things like freezing and thawing, which can make it crack and break. They can also keep the metal inside the concrete from rusting. Admixtures can help your concrete stay together without cracking too much as it dries and hardens. This is crucial for making sure your building or road stays sturdy over time. Think of coloring admixtures as food coloring for your cake. They let you add different colors to your concrete, making it look more attractive for things like sidewalks or decorative walls. Some admixtures help you use less water and energy when making concrete, which is great for the environment. They can also make your structures last longer, reducing the need for repairs and replacements. So, admixtures are like secret ingredients that help construction workers and engineers create better, stronger, and more versatile concrete for all kinds of projects. They make sure that your concrete is not just strong but also easier to work with and longer lasting, while also giving you some creative options. There are several types of admixtures commonly used in concrete, each with its specific functions and benefits. Here are some of the most common types of admixtures and what they do. Water reducing admixtures, plasticizers. Imagine these admixtures as helpers that make your concrete mix smoother and easier to work with. They do this by letting you use less water while keeping the concrete easy to shape. You get concrete that's easier to handle and stronger because less water doesn't weaken it. Set retarding admixtures. These admixtures are like time slowing potions for concrete. They give you more time to work with the mix before it hardens which is handy in hot weather or for long distance deliveries. You can place and finish the concrete more comfortably without rushing. Set accelerating admixtures. These admixtures are like fast forward buttons for concrete. They speed up how quickly it sets and hardens, useful in cold weather or when you need things to happen fast. You can save time and finish your project sooner. Air entraining admixtures. These admixtures create tiny air bubbles in the concrete, like cushions. These bubbles help prevent the concrete from cracking when it freezes and expands. It makes your concrete last longer, especially in cold places. Superplasticizers Think of superplasticizers as super helpers. They make your concrete super easy to work with while keeping it strong, even if you use less water. You get concrete that's both flexible and strong, which is great for special projects. Coloring admixtures. These are like magic paints for your concrete. They let you choose different colors to make your concrete look pretty. You can make your sidewalks and walls look colorful and appealing. Corrosion inhibiting admixtures. These admixtures are like bodyguards for the steel inside the concrete. They protect it from rust and damage. 
It makes your structures last longer and reduces repair costs. Shrinkage Reducing Admixtures These helpers control how much your concrete shrinks as it dries and hardens, which helps prevent cracks. Less cracking means your structures stay strong and look better. Set Control Admixtures They are like timekeepers for concrete. They let you decide when your concrete should harden, which is handy for different construction steps. You have control over the timing of your project. ASR Mitigating Admixtures These admixtures stop a bad chemical reaction that can harm your concrete. They prevent cracks and damage. Your concrete stays strong and safe over time. So, admixtures are like special ingredients or helpers that make the concrete easier to work with, stronger, and better suited for different situations. They give builders more control and help ensure that structures last longer and look good. Admixtures can modify or enhance several key properties of concrete mixes. Here are some of the most important properties that admixtures can influence. Workability. Admixtures make concrete easier to work with. They ensure it's the too thick or too runny, so builders can shape it nicely when constructing things like walls and floors. Setting time. Admixtures let you control how quickly or slowly concrete hardens. Think of it as a timer for your concrete, so you can choose when it gets firm. Strength. Some admixtures act as superhero boosts for concrete, making it super strong without making it weaker by adding too much water. Durability. Admixtures can make your concrete last longer, especially in tough conditions. They protect it from things like freezing and rust. Permeability. They can make your concrete less porous, so water and harmful stuff can't seep through easily. This is crucial for structures that need to stay strong over time. Shrinkage control. Admixtures help prevent your concrete from cracking as it dries and hardens. Nobody wants a cracked sidewalk or floor. Color and appearance. Imagine them as paints for your concrete. You can use these admixtures to give your concrete different colors and make it look nice. Setting and hardening control. These admixtures are like remote controls for when your concrete sets and hardens. You can decide when it's time for it to get solid. ASR mitigation. Some admixtures stop bad chemical reactions that can harm your concrete over time. This keeps your concrete strong and safe. Volume stability. Admixtures help your concrete stay the right size. They make sure it doesn't get too big or too small as the weather changes. Chemical resistance. They can make your concrete resistant to chemicals, which is essential in places where chemicals might come into contact with it. Flowability. These admixtures make your concrete flow more smoothly, like thick syrup, so you can fill molds and shapes without any trouble. Eco-friendly features. Some admixtures help the environment by saving water and energy. They also make your structures last longer, which means less waste and repairs. So, admixtures are like helpers that make your concrete easier to work with, stronger, and more resistant to various challenges, all while giving you control over how it looks and performs. They are like tools that help builders create better and more durable structures. Using admixtures in concrete construction offers several advantages that significantly improve the performance and workability of concrete. Here are the key benefits of using admixtures. Easier to work with. Admixtures make the concrete easier for builders to handle. It's like making the dough for cookies with just the right consistency so it's not too sticky or too dry. Stronger concrete. Some admixtures can turn your regular concrete into super strong concrete which is important for things like tall buildings and bridges. More time to work. With the right admixtures, builders have more time to work with the concrete before it starts getting hard. It's like getting extra time to decorate a cake before the icing sets. Quick progress. On the flip side, some admixtures speed up the hardening of concrete, which is helpful when you need things to come together fast. Lasts longer. Admixtures can make your concrete last longer, especially in tough conditions like freezing weather or areas near the ocean. This means less maintenance and repairs over time. Stops water and chemicals. 
They can also make your concrete less likely to let water and harmful stuff like salt seep through. This keeps structures strong and less prone to damage. Less cracking, admixtures help prevent your concrete from cracking as it dries and hardens. Nobody wants a cracked sidewalk or driveway. Pretty and customizable, you can use some admixtures to give your concrete different colors and make it look nice. It's like painting your walls in various colors to match your style. Eco-friendly, certain admixtures help the environment by saving water and energy in the concrete making process. They also reduce waste because structures last longer. Customization, builders can tailor their concrete mixes to suit specific needs, ensuring that the concrete performs just right for each unique project. Admixtures are like handy tools for builders. They make the concrete easier to use, stronger, and better in different situations. Whether you need it to set quickly or last a long time, admixtures help make it happen. While admixtures offer numerous benefits, there are also potential drawbacks and situations where their use might not be recommended. Here are some of the potential disadvantages and considerations. Cost. Using certain admixtures can be pricey. So, Builders need to think about whether the benefits they provide are worth the extra money. Quality control. Admixtures have to be measured and mixed just right. Mistakes can lead to unexpected problems in the concrete. Compatibility issues. Some admixtures don't get along with specific types of cement or other materials. It's like making sure all the ingredients in your recipe go well together. Environmental concerns. A few admixtures can be harmful to the environment. So, it's important to think green and choose eco-friendly options when possible. Overusing water reducers, using too much of these can weaken your concrete. It's like watering down your coffee too much, it won't taste good. Unintended effects, sometimes, using admixtures can have unexpected results. Builders need to test them first to avoid surprises. Project specifics, not every project needs admixtures. For example, coloring admixtures are great for pretty walkways, but you wouldn't use them on a bridge. Project size, for small projects, it might not be worth the hassle or cost of using admixtures. Simple concrete mixes can do the job just fine. Skill and knowledge, to use admixtures correctly, you need to know a lot about concrete. Beginners might struggle to get the right mix. Regulatory rules. There are rules and guidelines in some areas about which admixtures you can use. Builders need to follow these rules to stay legal. Timing is everything. Admixtures that control how fast concrete hardens need to be used carefully. If not, they can mess up the schedule and cause delays. So, while admixtures can be super useful, you have to be smart about when and how to use them. It's like cooking, you want to use the right ingredients at the right time to make the perfect dish. Here are some real-world applications where specific types of admixtures are commonly used to achieve certain concrete characteristics or properties. Skyscrapers that touch the sky. Admixture, super plasticizers. Imagine building a super tall skyscraper. To make sure it's strong enough, you use super plasticizers. These make the concrete strong without needing lots of water, so the building can stand tall and firm. Massive dams and foundations. Admixture, set retarding admixtures. When building big things like dams, you need to pour lots of concrete all at once. Set retarding admixtures slows down how quickly the concrete hardens. This gives workers plenty of time to get it just right without worrying about it drying too fast and causing cracks. Bridges and marine structures. Admixture. Corrosion inhibiting admixtures. In places where concrete is exposed to water and salt, like bridge decks or near the ocean, corrosion inhibiting admixtures act like a shield. They protect the steel inside the concrete from rust, making these structures last a lot longer. Cold weather concrete. Admixture. Set accelerating admixtures. In chilly weather, concrete can take a long time to set. Set accelerating admixtures speed up this process, so builders can work efficiently even when it's cold outside. 
Beautiful decorative concrete. Admixture. Coloring admixtures. When you want concrete to look more than just gray, coloring admixtures come into play. They let you add various colors and patterns, perfect for fancy patios, stained floors, or eye-catching architectural details. Smooth and easy workability. Admixture. Super plasticizers. Imagine you are making detailed concrete shapes without vibrating the mix. Super plasticizers make the concrete super smooth and flowy so it fills molds perfectly. Pavements that survive winter. Admixture. Air entraining admixtures. In places where it gets really cold, like snowy roads and sidewalks, air entraining admixtures create tiny air bubbles in the concrete. These bubbles help the concrete withstand freezing and thawing without cracking. Structural repairs that last. Admixture. Shrinkage reducing admixtures. When fixing structures, you don't want the repaired parts to crack. Shrinkage reducing admixtures ensure that the concrete stays strong and crack free for the long haul. So, think of admixtures as the secret ingredients that make concrete perform better in different situations. They are like magic helpers that ensure buildings, bridges, and pavements are strong, durable, and even beautiful. When selecting the right admixture for a particular concrete project, several factors should be considered to ensure the desired performance and characteristics of the concrete. Here are some key factors and best practices for choosing and incorporating admixtures. Know your project needs. First, understand what your construction project requires. Do you need super strong concrete, or maybe something that sets slowly for more time to work with it? Knowing your needs is key. Pick the right admixture. Choose the right type of admixture based on your project's needs. For example, if you want stronger concrete, go for a strength-boosting admixture. Check compatibility. Make sure the chosen admixture works well with the cement, rocks, and other stuff in your concrete mix. It's like ensuring all the ingredients in a recipe go together. Mix design. Work with experts to create the right concrete mix that includes the chosen admixture. They'll help you get the recipe just right. Get the dosage right. Figure out the correct amount of the admixture to use. This is like following a recipe and measuring ingredients carefully. Quality control. Test your concrete mix with the admixture in a lab. This helps ensure it will perform the way you want it to. Consider the environment. Think about the environment. Choose eco-friendly options, if possible, to reduce the impact on nature. Follow rules. Make sure your use of the admixture follows local building codes and rules. Handle it properly. Store and handle the admixture as recommended by the manufacturer to keep it effective. Test for consistency. Keep testing batches to make sure the admixture is mixed consistently and correctly every time. Keep records. Keep good records of how much admixture you use and the test results. This helps you track quality and performance. Real-life testing. Test your concrete mix with the admixture on the construction site to make sure it works well under actual conditions. Use it at the right time, at the admixture at the right point during the mixing process. Some go in with the water, while others mix directly with the concrete. Mix it right, follow the manufacturer's instructions for how to mix it properly, including how long to mix and when to add it. Check consistency, continuously check if the concrete mix stays consistent during production. It should meet the required standards. Quality assurance, make sure your quality control program checks the concrete at every stage of the construction process. Stay in the loop. Keep good communication between the concrete supplier, contractor, and everyone involved so that everyone knows what's happening. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey into the world of admixtures in concrete. I hope you found this exploration as fascinating as I did. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or any experiences you have had with admixtures in the comments below.
I love hearing from you and engaging in meaningful discussions. Stay tuned for more in-depth explorations of construction and engineering topics on this channel.